you can now support this channel on Patreon. Warning, this video is for comedy purposes only, and as such, should not be taken too seriously. The idea that those tiny ass wings could lift that fat bastard off the ground, let alone send her up into the fucking sky. <laughs> fat ass Drogon has now drastically changed her colours to a biohazard looking green, and it's kind of off putting, and like if you stare at it for too long, then you'll start seeing some sober LSD shit as soon as you look away. Ooh. Oh, also, disclaimer if you don't watch Game of Thrones, you won't understand the initial reference, so sorry about that. The maid goes straight to the nerd on the street, likely to come in and buy a bunch of shit he doesn't want so he can sit around staring at maid ass all day in a really cliche way. <laughs> then you're taking the wrong kind of medication, you f***ing donut. <laughs> Boob motion sound effects helps us the viewer know that boobs are moving. Working adult who also needed to get themselves to work is now happy to sit at home. I mean, I know she thinks this is a dream, but I'd like to think that's more for comedic purposes, given how easy it is to ensure you're not dreaming, like the old pinching your arm technique I've never had to use. Please tell me this is just a brand choice and there's not really a beer made out of crabs or something, because that would be both fascinating and disgusting all at once. In case you weren't already made well aware of her affinity for alcohol, here's lots of extra shots of empty beer cans to really drive home her likely shriveled up and failing liver. Even though you didn't, given that we just saw the scene where you were invited. <clears throat> That's what she said. <sighs> There's always one guy who makes it weird for everyone by watching Pornhub at work. Well, why was he given rat's teeth for this segment? <laughs> the angry woman stands between us viewers and boobs. Sake <laughs> Despite there being a steady flow of traffic mere seconds ago, no car show up on either side of the road once she's turned into her dragon form, creating a not being seen by a human whilst obviously a giant dragon ex machina. Yes, I know she can shield herself physically from human eyes, but clearly she's not doing that here, given that A, we physically saw her glow the entire time she uses it later on, and B, it would open up a can of worms as to maybe she can shield herself from specific eyes and not just everyone. <laughs> I think vampire would be a more fitting description of something which drinks blood, but yeah, let's go with demon. <laughs> and no one ever sees the fucking dragon. <laughs> Small child sized toilet on the kitchen table. Tiny Easter Island head statues posing as male mannequins. How. Ugh, my OCD can't fucking take it. Either stack it up properly like a normal can sits on top of another normal can or keep it by the side. Don't do this half and half bullshit. No. Xbox 180. Two minute long cleaning montage about cleaning an apartment. Cleaning. 
サンサン引っ越しサービスですはいお願いします Did they let themselves in? It's just to have the introduction they gave once they're all already inside the house? What kind of moving company does that? Oh, yeah, shit's about to get real up in here, boy! Fuck. Take two cents. What kind of bloody car have you had? Actually, to be fair, these humans are not making the same mistakes. They're abiding by the request to remain quiet, but at the same time have now noticed the noise more from each neighbor. If anything, they're being exactly like our master and wanting things to be more quiet in general. Stupid fat drogan. Probably intended as a joke of sorts, but so factually incorrect that I, as anime sins, feel the need to awkwardly point out how wrong it is and now quickly move on. Beeps! <coughs> I'm watching this for the plot. Uh, open your eyes. Space between them, otherwise she may have overheard her. Dude's getting a half chub on at the store. Now, this is weird, okay? Because I know she's got her bag on and it's cute, she's sleeping with it on in bed. But I was looking for sins, and so I went back and I paused and stared at the screen. Then I noticed something weird. You see as her head's back, there's no facial animation. So what it kind of looks like is a child laid front ways on a bag who happens to be bald and have their face buried in a wig and also happens to be suffering from the same plight that our dear Rem went through in ReZero and now it just looks damn creepy. You're welcome! Dude, seriously, what fucking part of it was fun watching them do you think could have indicated that it was in turn not fun? Jesus, sort out your follow up questions, please. So, did you have fun? Yeah, it was fun. So, it was fun. Yeah, I had fun, it was good. So, it was basically good, yeah? Yeah, it was good and fun and everything. So, fun. Killing birds. CGI. This dude's TV is a rectangle. Anti gravity skirt. Also, anti gravity skirt is fabric blocking me. Sounds more like a really tough and boring job. How would you know that? This is getting straight up fucking weird. I mean, how old are these kids? I know the dragon is supposed to be older, I'm, I'm guessing, but seeing two kids in a position like this is just odd to me and slightly over the old decency line in the sand that I morally draw for myself. 
。私に何をするつもりだったんだろう。したかった。Let's just leave it at you wanted to stop being so fucking weird and making shit so fucking weird. It's time to start! えそりゃまたなんでですここんとこよく小林さんちにも遊びに来るし。Open your eyes! <笑>だからその緊張をほぐすために一緒に寝ようとしたりお風呂に入ろうとしてるんだけどダメなんだよね。Stupid fucking kid. だったらこれしかない。体で。Yup, definitely bloody weird. I can make jokes all day long about boobs and stuff so long as I'm the one making the dumbass jokes. But when the anime puts this grown up woman in the position of stating she'll offer her body to this tiny looking kid, it definitely weirds me out and gives me odd vibes, guys. Sorry if you see it another way, but I'm anime sins and I gotta stand by what I feel is sin worthy, and this for me is worthy of three sins. <laughs> <sighs> okay, take another three cents here. Not much else to say, but weird. Heavy rain forms on the balcony railing as three large puddles of water. I have to say, I'm very much liking the dynamic between these two. It's a really nice, calm, chilled out, and relaxing vibe that they've added to their friendship that's pretty awesome to see, to be honest. For this, I'm removing a sin. Okay, these two birds definitely symbolize the friendship between the two, and I like that. It's pretty rare for me to remove a sin right after having just done it, but with him saying you're a hit, meaning you're a good guy who he likes and a good friend, and then seeing these two birds together just warmed my heart a little. So, yeah, I'll remove yet another sin here, I think. <laughs> obligatory beach episode is obligatory. <laughs> Never thought I'd get to the stage where I've almost seen too much boobage. Also, a behind the scenes reveal here. To create that shitty joke, I spun around in my chair and got slightly dizzy. What do you think of my body, little boy? Does it arouse you? This is not fucking normal. Quit it with this shit. It's time to stop. 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 <laughs> Applying sun lotion that sounds like the tide going in and out. <laughs> <sighs> Clearly not, as there are trace amounts on her face. That sounded weird, but you knew what I meant.
Thank you to the following patrons. Nathan Burr, Gabby Z, Vupu, Leon Lutger, Joaquin Jimenez Villaluenga, and to all of the other patrons supporting me. Thank you. Reach the wizard. Reach the wizard. <laughs>